we are just leaving the port. Right now we're in a place called Mouse Hole. It's a cute little seaside port town, if you can see. And yeah, we just stopped here for some pictures just to take a look. We walked around a couple others. There was nothing too special to show you guys, but I thought I'd just catch you up midday. And yeah, you'll have seen a lot of the clips of the scenery, the sea, it was really pretty aesthetically pleasing. I had a really quick lunch, it was a bit of a nightmare, but in the end I found some vegan food, so that's okay. And I'm wearing my new vintage sunglasses that I bought the other day. And I will, yeah, probably film some more. We're gonna head to Manak Theatre now. in Marks and Spencer just picking up dinner here because we're not gonna go out and we're not gonna cook so yeah we're just buying some things here I actually have a 10 pound voucher so that works out well and I'll show you later what we got if I can remember it's not gonna, not gonna be anything crazy but just thought I'd update you that we're doing a little bit of supermarket shopping We are in Truro right now in the town center. We just visited the cathedral, which was really gorgeous. And yeah, now we're heading back home. We did our food shopping again at MS. And yeah, so we went to Newquay as well. Was not impressed. Did not like it. No offense if you live there. Just wasn't really what I was hoping for. But the beach was really nice. And we had a nice like beachside restaurant. I think you saw a couple of those clips. Um, yeah, and the high street here is really nice. Like the town center if you can see and yeah I don't think I did an outfit of the day but I'm just wearing Primark top that I've worn before my Gemini constellation necklace and then new look trousers high-waisted trousers it's a little bit chilly as well today so I think the weather is why maybe things just didn't look as good because it was windy and cloudy but honestly Truro is really nice and I looked it up on the way here we weren't sure where we were gonna go and it said that it was like voted one of the nicest towns best places to live so i thought it'd be really idyllic and just sweet and it is it's a nice nice high street nice area So we are now in Panetum Gardens, which is, I know it looks more of like a field from this background, but it's really nice. Got gorgeous trees, a lake at the bottom that we're walking to now. So definitely you'll have seen before this clip and maybe a little bit after as well, some nice clips of the Japanese garden and flowers and just beautiful scenery. There's no one here because it was raining in the morning, but I started affirming. So I manifested it to be really dry the sun is starting to come out a little bit so yeah manifested the rain away but still there's very very few people here so for videos and photos it's amazing i'm getting so much good content but yeah i'll continue showing you guys a couple of clips and with the ticket we actually have free entry for the week so we're gonna probably come back one more time We are kind of on our way out of Charlestown now. Ignore this weird raincoat I'm wearing. It was kind of raining a little harder now, so just protect my hair and everything and not get super wet. Just wore this, so I didn't get any pictures or videos in this. Um, and ignore the hair as well. 
but we're just going into a shop that I saw here called, I think we're gonna look for it. It was called apparently Kind and Conscious. So I'm gonna see if we can find it, what it has. But yeah, we're just walking down there, little um, walkway down to the port area, walked around, it's really nice. So yeah. We have just finished the tour of Pencaro House, which I show you guys a little bit of clips of. Really gorgeous scenery. You can't do any photos inside because the family still lives here. But I just did some photos and videos here, so you'll have seen some clips from that. We are we're on our way out now. We went to the cafe, had a chocolate cake, a coffee. So just had a bit of an afternoon refresh. Yeah, so as I said, we're leaving the house now, as you can see a little bit of it behind me here. Um, it was actually really interesting. Normally, I don't like those kind of, you know, historical, old-fashioned, stately home tours, but this one was actually really interesting. I learned a lot of facts, like they would share their tea leaves with literally everyone in the vicinity because they were so expensive. And then by the time it got to, you know, the sixth or seventh person who was drinking the tea, it was called kind of where the term dregs of society came from like the tea the dregs of the tea that they were just reusing and reusing so it's like little phrases from the english language that originated from i guess elizabethan era victorian era and how it's kind of passed down and still things that we say now also just completely please ignore my very frizzy hair it was raining earlier but honestly it was a fun afternoon Hi guys, so a quick little update. You'll have probably seen some of the dinner clips now. I think I posted what we had for dinner. Went to this restaurant called Flory in Bodmin, which is where we're staying. It's got amazing vegan options. So if you're in Cornwall, South Cornwall, and you're in this area and you're vegan, or you just want a really nice restaurant, that is a great recommendation. Uh, yeah, so you'll have seen what I had to eat, so I won't go over that too much. But this is just the outfit I had on. Uh, didn't do anything except change into a slightly nicer top, more for like evening. Kept the same necklace that I showed you guys in my outfit of the day, same jewelry and everything. Literally just changed the top and it's from Shein. So I thought I'd just show you that and give you a little talking update so it's not just constantly clips of what we're doing. And yeah. So just getting ready for bed. It's only about 9, 9.30, but honestly, we have such busy days here in Cornwall that, yeah, we just get tired. And honestly, I like to, by the time we get back from dinner, I'm ready to just sit in my bed all evening. So yeah, nothing crazy going on. I've just been checking comments on my new video. I did, I had a new manifestation video, so just been replying to that, checking, you know, all the metrics and everything and just catching up on my social media content. Also, yeah, I thought, I think I forgot to mention a couple things, but yeah, because we were rushing off home after visiting, I think it's called Pencaro House. I mentioned it, I think, in a previous clip. And literally, when we first went in, it reminds me a little bit of Phantom Manor in Disneyland. It was just kind of funny because they had this massive grand library, all in like these very dark shades of red and brown, very almost like gothic, old fashioned, traditional. It just gave me Phantom Manor vibes. And then there were even portraits where they had creepy dolls honestly. Um, one was called Scary Mary, so you can only imagine what that one looked like. But yeah, they had portraits of obviously all the baronets, baronesses, family members, aristocracy and kings and whatever. But um, the, one of them specifically had was painted in a way that was an optical illusion that the eyes follow you. So I was like, oh my god, this is literally Phantom Man. I was like, I need to get an exorcism after I leave this house because it's got to be haunted at the very least. But honestly, I would still, I know it sounds a little bit creepy, but like, honestly, I would still really highly recommend it. It was a lot of fun. The tour guide was amazing. It was interesting just to learn like general facts about life in the, you know, 1700s, 1800s. I think it's the Elizabethan era and Georgian era, something like that. But anyway, yeah, it was really fascinating. A few like modern day references as well. So yeah, we had a lot of fun there. And then the gardens as well, you saw some clips from there. And currently I'm just catching up on the previous vlog from Sophia and Chinsia. I just like watching their London life. 
like their London recommendations, daily vlogs, even though they only post once a week. But yeah, they're quite a fun channel. If you live in London or you're, you're you know, aspiring influencer or something, I feel like they're a good channel to watch for content ideas and inspiration and stuff. Um, yeah, or if you just live in London, but yeah, just catching up on that. Gonna do a couple more things on social media and that's pretty much my evening. So good morning, guys. This is probably literally one second after I showed you the last evening clip, but yeah, obviously we're getting ready for the day. It's morning, it's the next day, and we are going to Manak Theatre, which if you're not from the UK, uh, if you're not from England, like it's very, very likely, most probably you've never heard of it. I hadn't heard of it until I saw something on Instagram and it looked so gorgeous. It literally looked like, uh, you know, something off the Amalfi Coast, a Greek island or something. And obviously it's a little bit edited. Like I know it's not gonna look the way it looks on Instagram or pictures, a lot of people, they just put way too many filters and editing tools on their photos, but I know it's still gorgeous because I've looked at a lot of pictures. So I'm excited to go. Um, I think it's like not necessarily ancient, but a very, very old, at least hundreds of years old theater, I think. And it's kind of built into the rocks of like a cliff, gorgeous views, and it's supposed to be sunny today, thank goodness. So yeah, we are gonna go there for the day. And then I'm not sure we're doing what else we're doing, but we're gonna get lunch before that as well. It's gonna take a while to drive there. So I'm just doing a quick update to show you guys my outfit as well. Same jewelry as always, same two rings, and no necklace, just cause I have on this high neck printed dress. This is a Primark dress. It's kind of like just above the knees. I've had it for years, but it looks really pretty. And honestly, it looks more expensive than Primark, I think. Kind of looks like, you know, whistles or something. And yeah, really, really like it. I thought it's still kind of summery, but also kind of works for autumn. So it's a good like transitional dress and it'll look really pretty in pictures, which obviously I'm thinking about as well. We're currently on a beach in Devon. We stopped, I think it's called Bidbury or something, on the sea. And yeah, we're in Devon now. So I will show you more footage once we get to Salcombe. So we've checked in to the Devon Hotel, just here for one night, but it's, it's quite nice. Like it's a really sweet room, like a, converted cottage i suppose or traditional stone house if you can see oh god it's too bright okay the phone won't focus on it but yeah it's got some like right there stone buildings so like traditional devon stone buildings i've got a nice i think it's like a king size bed actually the beds look really lovely and comfy nicely decorated i'd say it's like a mix between of like a modern cottage shabby chic a little bit too shabby in some places, but doesn't bother me. We're here for one night. I'm not too fussy on these kind of trips, so that's totally fine. But yeah, this is what the bathroom looks like. Quite modern setup actually, so I appreciate that. Got a little window there, sink setup. Yeah, honestly, we're here for one night, so I don't really <laughs> care. Just gonna be sleeping here really. So then you've got the TV here, some amenities, if that's what you call them. But no, it's it's nicely. Nicely decorated. So I haven't been vlogging too much the past couple of days, but this is our final day. We're heading home now, but we've just had breakfast, which you guys I think saw a few clips of. The food, I filmed everything. So yeah, we're just on a walk. This is the hotel b and B, I I guess we were staying at. Um, very rural, very quaint. Um, so yeah, like I said, we just had breakfast. Now we're walking by this riverside area by the hotel, just going for a walk with the dog. And then I will show you guys more clips. But yeah, we're currently in Devon, which I think I already said. Yeah, super cute and quaint, very different to London life. But you know what? It's only a couple of days and today's just the final day. So I'm liking everything. It's nice to have a change sometimes and have something different. We have just stopped for lunch. It's the, is it Grofner Arms that we're at? It's just a nice pub. I think it's a and b It's, I think they do accommodation as well. So yeah, we've just stopped here for lunch. 
and it's really really cute scenery nice design nice table setup and everything so it's going to be a nice sunny countryside day just our last experience before we go home and i'll also show you obviously what i got to eat So we've finished lunch, we're just walking around the town now, honestly I can't remember what it's called but it's really nice, it's just about halfway back to London um, and my mum found a pub, the one that we were just at obviously which I showed you guys, that served vegan food which is really good and it was amazing, it was really nice. I had a celeriac steak, really nicely done with vegetables, it's just a side of fries but they were really good. And then uh, I didn't show it, but I had also blood orange sorbet, which was really good. And I thought, because it's orange, it'll be quite light and refreshing. And honestly, just tasted like freshly made sorbet, literally like blended oranges. It was really good. So I think it's called the Grovna Arms. So if you look it up, if you live in England or you're ever, you know, in this area or visiting or anything, highly, highly recommend it. And yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick update because I haven't vlogged too many talking clips here and I didn't want it just to be a montage of you know food for the whole vlog but I think this would be like a part two so I've probably broken it down into two or three parts for the vlogs for the trip but this is probably the final one of the final clips because I don't think um yeah there's not gonna be anything else to show really so this is gonna be the final part of the trip but yeah very very cute and quaint very much that like cutesy aesthetic so yeah I come home and the first thing I do is switch on Vampire Diaries. Do that now. 